<sighs> hey, what's going on, y'all? Hey, it's me again, Doc G. Um, as you know, I just made a video about feminism, and I had to make a part two to this because this is so near and dear to my heart, and I got to cover the issues, man, because somebody in America has to bring this up. And and let and let it be known from the from the back that I'm all about equality, man. I'm all about you know a man and a woman being equal. You know what I'm saying? But feminism today has gone too far, and it's no longer about you know men and women being equal. It's a, it's like a lot of stuff in society that's being accepted. With a feminism mentality, with a feminist mentality, that shouldn't be accepted. For example, let me start off by talking about the court systems in the United States of America. As you all know, I'm sure some, a lot of y'all know somebody who's going through a court case or something that has something to do with child support or alimony. Nine times out of ten, when you see a court case, no matter how fucked up the wife is, no matter how fucked up the baby's mama is, the, the baby's mama or the wife is more likely to get custody of the child, alimony, and child support, regardless of the situation, because that's how the court system is built. The court system is built to support women wholeheartedly. Women get lighter punishments for shit, and women get women get awarded al alimony and child support checks and all of that shit, regardless of the type of person she is. I've seen some women who beat their children up, still got custody of the children. I've seen women who have downgraded their children verbally to the point of embarrassment she still gets support of the children she gets child support money and I've seen husbands and I've seen you know babies fathers that have been good men and they'll, they they never had a chance in hell of getting custody of the children because like I said before the court system is in the United States is made to give the woman what she wants that's how it works. And speaking of that, let me go on to the next topic, which is domestic violence. In America, okay, when you see domestic violence, you think about a big billboard that talks about women being abused by their husbands or their boyfriends. But little did you know that there is a huge number of men a huge number of men who get abused by their wives or their girlfriends on a regular basis and women take comfort in knowing that the United States comfort that, that, that the United States court has their back women take comfort in knowing that the law has their back you know they know that a man can't hit them back so a woman will lash out on a man as hard as she can. And she doesn't have to face any consequences or repercussions. She can hit a man in the face as hard as she can. And it's okay. You know? She can leave bruises on a man and it's okay. Can a man report domestic abuse? No. Why? Because the police will start laughing at him. And it's not that the man is a punk, it's that men can't hit women back. Because as soon as a man hits a woman back in self-defense, he's going to jail. But a woman can all down there get away with murder. You know what I'm saying? That's another way that the United States court supports feminism. Okay, let's talk about let's talk about feminism in the media okay I'm sure you all have turned on the radio from time to time 
And there are a lot of songs. There are a lot of songs that support feminism that get played on the radio every single day. One of the main people who get who's a big feminist who plays a lot of feminist ass songs on the radio is Beyonce. How many feminist songs have she made? She's made Can You Pay My Bills, um, Bugaboo, um, If I Were a Boy, um, you, what's that song? To the Left, To the Left, you know, what's it called? Irreplaceable. Um, you know, basically, she bashes the shit out of men. And she gets Grammys for it. Her shit gets played in heavy rotation. Shit like if you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. You know, she's she she's a fucking she's a, the the poster child for feminism. Yet yet her shit gets put in heavy rotation and it gets played on a regular basis. You got groups like TLC. They made that song called No Scrubs. That shit got played heavy rotation. It won a lot of awards. Went platinum and all that shit. You got, you got Keisha Cole. Her whole fucking album. Her whole first album went platinum. And that whole album was a male bashing album. But yet. I'm not saying there are no songs that bash females. But they don't get played on the radio like that. Of course there are songs that bash women. But they don't get put in heavy rotation and get Grammys and shit like male bashing songs. So that's one example of feminism on the radio. Then let's also talk about feminism on TV. You usually see these shows, all of these shows on TV like Family Guy, Queen of Kings, shit like that and um usually the husband is a fucking moron and the wife is the headstrong female a main example of feminism like for example like i looked at this i, I watched the super bowl this year i seen a good number of commercials <laughs> during the super bowl of all things that were male bashing commercials like for example, like they had a Pepsi Zero commercial. It's a, it's like um, you know, it was a commercial where the husband would sneak around the house to eat stuff because his wife wouldn't let him eat. And every time he tried to eat something, his wife would hit him. But he drank a Pepsi, he drank a Pepsi Max at the end. And all of a sudden, everything was all good. So basically, they're saying, okay, it's okay to hit your husband. This was a Pepsi commercial now. They had a Doritos commercial out during the Super Bowl where this woman was driving down the street. She was eating Doritos in the car. Then her husband went to grab a Dorito out the bag, and she drop kicked him in the chest. She kicked him in the chest, and he fell out the car, and he rolled down the hill. Now, I'm guessing that's supposed to be funny, but if it was a Doritos commercial where a man kicked a woman in the chest, then it would be all kinds of lawsuits. Um, what else, man? You got shit like breast cancer. Everybody raises this big deal about breast cancer awareness. And you know what? I have no problem with people talking about breast cancer awareness and all of that but men die from prostate cancer on a large scale you know how many times do you hear about prostate cancer like people supporting prostate cancer it's like you never hear about that shit but you hear, hear about breast cancer all the time what else um fucking father's day all right, what's the difference between Mother's Day and Father's Day? You look at the TV, right? Goddamn, 
Everybody talks about, oh, well, get your mom something for Mother's Day and, and do this and do that. And if you buy your mom this, she'll be so happy. And they amp up Mother's Day like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? They fucking amp that shit up so much. But when Father's Day comes around, they don't give a fuck, man. They don't put, they put like one commercial on the TV. One. If that. You know, they don't give a fuck about Father's Day because the father is supposedly no longer needed in American society. They don't give a fuck about the father, the male figure in the family, because feminist ass bitches are so busy trying to be a man. So they don't promote Father's Day. You know, they talk, all right, let's get on Valentine's Day. Y'all want to talk about being equal and all that shit? How many commercials you see talk about buying diamond rings for for her and, you know, buying flowers for her and do this for her and do that for her? How many fucking commercials do you see, you know, encouraging women to buy something for their men? You don't never see that shit on the TV when it comes to Valentine's Day. You know what? I covered... A good majority of the issues man and I'm just gonna leave it at this but feminism extreme feminism in America has to stop you know that's all I got to say man much love and respect peace